All right, guys. We got this one. This is my ball. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I've been anxious since last night. It was like a, it has a burning sensation going yes. through my body. First off, good morning. It's morning where we're at. We just got back to Cebu last night. Late, late, late last night from Negros. Did we have any intention of coming home to Cebu last night? Nope, not at all. Very last minute. That's a whole other story. Anyway, we're like, we need some normality. Some, we need to go to a place, an area that we're very familiar with and just sleep. And in the morning we can wake up, start our day. So of course, we've lived in the capital area for a while. So thanks to the staff here at our hotel, so like you can stay here and I'm like, thank you because we need to sleep. But um, yeah, we figured we'll wake up in the morning, which that, it, it's morning now. Everyone just show you around some of our favorite places here in the area. Cause there's a lot of good food and restaurants and things to do. So um, let's go start our day cause we're hungry. Breakfast. Yes, bangoose. That's belly. And chorizo omelet. That's so funny. <laughs> we went to that table. We were supposed to be here. We'll leave it to this one. So as what was saying, we're back in Cebu. And we couldn't be any more excited. We love Cebu. We've made it our home base for the first six months we were here in the Philippines. And it feels great to be back to be able to go enjoy some of our favorite foods and to just have a little bit of normality before we head off to the next island, which we still don't know yet. <laughs> uh, but what we do know is that we're about to dig into this delicious breakfast. And breakfast here is served from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. They have a list of breakfast options that you can choose from. You just let them know the day before and you just have it either here at the dining area or you could have it delivered to your room. All right guys, so we just got in the taxi. So we made it to our secret surprise. Well, it's a secret for you. It's not a secret for Jose. He already knows because, well, in order to do what we're doing, you have to sign up and make an appointment. But let's go. You know us, we're spontaneous as hell. Figured let's go do something completely different than what you're used to seeing on the channel. We're not traveling. Well, we are traveling. But we actually came to this place called Jello Tattoo Studios here in Cebu City. I was looking on Facebook. Jose and I have been talking about wanting to get tattoos. We love getting tattoos. And then I ran across this on Facebook and I'm like, he has one of the coolest concepts that we never even heard of until we looked it up. Hi guys, my name is Jello, I'm a tattoo artist from Cebu City. How long have you been open in Jello? I've been open here for about three years now, nowadays. And what made you think of this concept? Uh, this concept actually... I'm not the original idea. I yeah. just get this from other countries, but mm -hmm. I do my own. Uh, let's try this 500 something tattoo small one for some people that cannot afford it and, and then get boom and then people like it so here he goes <laughs> there's so many tattoo places here but when i ran across this i'm like this is the coolest concept i've heard of and his work was legitimately good even just outside of the surprise tattoo so i'm like i trust the process so that's definitely why we came here and apparently this is a big thing in other countries i had no idea so the more you know. I'm geeking out, guys. I'm literally reliving my 90s fantasy because I grew up watching Pokemon. To this day, I do watch Pokemon at times when I have free times. And the inside are all these color Pokeballs. Each color has a different meaning. So for the girls, it would be the red, yellow, orange, and pink Pokeballs. The boys would be the blue, violet, and green. See what we're gonna get. All right, guys. We got this one. It's my ball. Oh man, let's see what it is. Ooh. Oh, is it two? 
Yep, there's two this side and then one. A light bulb. Power. I like Ooh, this. I love that. It's funny because I was legitimately wanting text. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Could not be better. Could okay. not be better. We'll get there. For how many years now I start vlogging? Uh, a year. A year? Yeah. Two years. Okay. hundred balls only like 20 have two tattoos plus on top of it the, the ones I chose were exactly up the what I was wanting up yeah. the line of what I would want so like I say luck's on our side <laughs> 2027 as you see yes and it's this close there right right correct yes yeah, we'll open up in front of you Describe the feeling behind the neck. Uh, at first, it sounds like a little tickle. And then it's like somebody's like poking you with the world's littlest needle. This was probably not what I had expected to do on a Monday morning, but here we are, and this was meant to happen. Like, we've been wanting a tattoo, we've been talking about tattoos, and there's no better way to get a tattoo here in the Philippines than to do it here in Cebu, the island that we love the most. And again, a place where we find ourselves wanting to settle down. So thank you, William, for finding this awesome place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the only place you I made a reservation before I even told Jose. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Yeah, we were literally just sitting at the coffee shop getting some work done and Will just turns over the phone saying, hey, we booked, I booked myself an appointment for a tattoo. Go on and book yourself one. Legit though. <laughs> what? combination actually. We'll probably be back for another style of tattoo. I haven't even seen it, so I don't even know. It could, <laughs> it could literally just be a blob and I have no idea. I think it's a double A battery. Oh, that's cool. I like that. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I've been anxious since last night because I'm pretty much letting Faith choose my tattoo. And I was trying to think of strategies like, do I go for the first Pokeball that my fingers touch? Or do I swirl around and just... Bro, just pick one. I just am so one. nervous. All right. Let's do it. Ooh. All right. Okay, two. Is this Uranus? Yeah. Or Saturn? And two. Oh, the origami. And the origami bird. That's cool. Okay. I was freaking out, but I'm totally cool with these two. And let's Lucky just get started. Day. This is awesome. This is so cool. Lucky this is good. Day. Now that I've got in my designs, now the hardest part is trying to figure out the placement. Like, do I want it in my hand? Do I want it on my shoulder? Do I want it in my leg? Like, these are all things that are just going through my head. And it's it's permanent. So I just got to find the right placement. Yeah. Yeah. A small tattoo for a yeah. small wrist. <laughs> and this is a good position because I could Flex right now wow. for the camera. Nothing <laughs> showing up. Really nothing showing up. It's a dark blob. <laughs> that was like a that was a burning sensation going yeah. through my body. That just gave me the chills. That was calm, cool, and collected. He's over here. <laughs> He's definitely crying inside. I can't see his face because he's turned around. I don't want him to move, but I know he's like. Less than five minutes. <laughs> the longest five minutes of my life. Let's 
They said you get near the bone when I got it. Why is it that the smallest tattoo has brought on the most pain in my body? Yeah, he doesn't just do these small one, the the surprise tattoo. He does like big, you hurt him himself, back, leg, anything. So any tattoo you have. I'm on my way out when I outside the country. Come. See ya. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Or he got me, right? I love it. Oh, that that's one. so cute. I'm jealous of that one actually. I gotta name it. I'll think of a name for him. Uh -huh. Here is more a bit painful. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear that? Space. It's gonna be a lot more painful over here. Ah, chills, chills, stinging, chills. You're moving. I was so nervous coming into this. I mean, you guys probably even heard it in my voice or the fact that I was like stumbling over my own words. But now that the whole process is done, I can finally walk out feeling content with not only the quality of the tattoo, but the design of the tattoo as well. And yeah, I'm just, this is probably one of those things that you have to do if you're in Cebu, if you're in the Philippines, because you can walk away with something, a piece a piece of art as memory. So when you do come here, just drop any preconceived notion you have. Just get, don't let the, I, the, don't let it scare you that you don't know what it is. It is a surprise tattoo, but I can assure you the tattoo, the designs are all quality. So you're gonna be perfectly fine. But like, at the end of the day, the spontaneous is kind of what makes it exhilarating and fun. And it's a piece that's gonna stick with you and think about it, that's a story in itself. I'm glad your name popped up, so uh, come if you're in the area. Thank you, Jeff. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it a lot, all right? I all right. It. Thank you, buddy. Have a good one, all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, bud. Yeah. Go get your tattoo. <laughs> Don't be terrified. You guys, it's a one-stop shop, and as you can tell, this noggin needs a haircut. It's <laughs> awesome. I have a lot of hair. And this is one of the most amazing parts about the Philippines. There are barbers everywhere. And I can tell you right now, it doesn't matter if they are the smallest hole in the wall, if they're this is the biggest place, like the ones you walk by everywhere give you the best haircuts and the best prices. So don't be afraid to just stop in because the chances are you're gonna get a colleague cut. Same as him? Yeah, but uh, just let that grow, yeah. We'll leave it alone. Thank you. As they say, flattery is another form of, in wait, imitation is another form of flattery. get my hair cut all the time. I should get it more often. I love getting my hair cut. It's like very calming and like, mm. there's something about the sound of the razor in your ear or the clippers. It's like the sound, it's the equivalent of like water, hearing water rush, I don't know. It's very calming. You did good. See, this is what I'm talking about. You don't need to go to any fancy salon to get a good haircut in the Philippines. You're everywhere. Well, that's not true. Not all of them, not all barbers are created equal. That's like saying everybody, oh, nope, no lighting. Well, but chances are you're gonna find a really good barber. We found one. So if you're right here getting your little tattoo, come here and get your haircut. Okay, so by the looks of it, you guys, and from what you've seen, we made it to La Lucha, Mexican food at its finest. 
cilantro, cebolla, the garnish, the salsa, it just makes us really happy. And Will can tell you that he's much of a Mexican food fan than I am. Mm. Chicken. Thank you. Chicken and carnitas. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because if you've had authentic Mexican food, you know they don't rely on like all those extra toppings. So they use the cilantro, the onion, the sauce, and the meat. It's all you need. I don't. I honestly don't think she's gonna be enough. We usually get six. So she was very, very surprised. She was so, she? She was so concerned. <laughs> she was. She's like, um, I think she would go talk to her, her boss. Like something's wrong, guys. Something wrong. She even waited like a good ten long Mississippi seconds, waiting to see if she like heard us correctly. They hate us. We go through so much salsa, you guys, as you can tell. But at this point, you might as well just take the top off and <laughs> pour it on there. We just love our taco spicy, that's all. All right, let's begin. Man, I am, I have been craving this. Anytime your first reaction to a bite, just to roll your eyes in love and then just pure joy, you'd know it's good. Also, this carnitas, so, so fresh. Oh my gosh, you guys, you don't even know. What are you missing? Look at that. What we forgot is on Fridays, you get free horchata. So, come on Friday. The horchata is good. We've had it several times. So, it's so good. They put the perfect amount of cinnamon.